Hello and welcome to the DreamHack Anaheim Halo Championship, where the top teams in Halo Reach face off for their share of a $50,000 prize pool. Not only Snakebite's gonna have to be the one that actually pushes up because his team does get spawns in the opposite closet. Killing spree, beautiful double there for Snakebite across the map. Now, if Quo is able, if the score stays the same and status quo is able to get a flag on the board, we will go to sudden death over time through the gap. A nice double kill there on Jimbo out of Snakebite. For what I hope to be the fifth, fi fifth and final cap sims, if it's seven caps or something, <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> Ryan's just in the back <laughs> shooting, he's buffing. <laughs> They're running it in to put it in. You just see Ryan in the back just <laughs> shooting him in the head. In front of it, and if someone starts shooting in the back, he was just going to dip out of the front. He was helping always, always helping his teammates all across the map, giving them chances. And then they've got an easy route with the flag. He knows where Sniper is. Hits him. Good kill. That's important. That's even better. That's the second, third player. Where is he? He's on the stage. He actually might be done here, even holding him back. This has bought time. His teammates are coming off the respawn, and once again, this will be no go for a run on the flag. One. It's down runway. <laughs> Jeez. See you, mate. That's a, that's a headache and a half, even though it was half shield. Still hits him in the face regardless. Some of the times you just wonder with how accurate they are with uh, no scope. You're just like, why do they even bother to zoom in? Jesus. Just like, like I said, what? why do they even bother to zoom in? Why do you zoom in for that third shot oh. there? Especially to get it early on because this first hill moves on over towards red. And you're going to see Incognito oh, picking up no. a lot of kills and picking up a lot of time. Oh, no, no, no. It's all going wrong. Who's this up top, Renegade? Will fall and transfer Sniper to the hands of the blue team. Time is... Of the essence, though, random. Goofy nigga. lived. Did he? <laughs> I didn't notice yet. Oh wow. Okay. That was amazing. I thought Goofy was down, going for it. the Despy grenade to try to hit Sane. Sane ended up shooting the grenade, blowing himself up, and Goofy lived. That was one of the most wacky Looney Tunes exchanges I've ever seen in my entire life. Absolutely. That was three dead for a second. Also, a fresh new side rebel for Ryan Noob. On the opposing side, APG is left to kind of stand this one down himself. He'll take the aggressive stance. Nice I shot. like this. Rather than keep the pressure on the back, apply it to themselves. The rest of the teammates can dive on in, maybe get a touch on the flag, which they do. So APG applying the pressure and getting stuck in has allowed them to do this, Dave. Exactly. APG could have tried to desperate inside of Green Hall, maybe traded kills and maybe gotten a touch. Instead, realized that he can create an opportunity for one of his other teammates to get that grab as he applies pressure long, long haul. And how do they not capture this after such an amazing play from APG and the flag being tossed all the way on their flag. This is going to be incognito countering this on the heels of Sentinel's near capture. How did it not go in? How did they not manage to capitalize on that? The response was real. The sniper rifle kills were there. They stop it so within inches of the capture point. And we will see if they're able to get the sort of subs that they need in this situation. I mean, uh, you have so much information coming your way from either teammates, or sometimes even a lack of information coming your way from teammates. He actually got him with that second hit. That's the follow-up as well, so the opposing one's good. They need to keep a hold of this because this is the same scenario that we had before, Dave, in King of the Hill. They literally need to hold every single second. Time is ticking. It will go all the way down to the wire unless the grenades are good. They need to lock this one down. The sniper rifle's there. It's doing its job. He finds him at the side of the head. Where's his teammates? No one's in the hill. Renegade, you've got to throw your body in there. There's one. There's the second. Doesn't hit it. DMR's out. Hold it. PG at arm's length. This could be it. This could be so good. Now they have to worry about the gold push. That's the major angle that these players are going to go in from. It doesn't seem like Saiyan or Renegade are ready from anything coming from gold. And here comes the gold push like I talked about. It's lethal. Trying to push in. Get this. There's five seconds left. The whole oh my the god! Cross. The clutch team Sentinels lose it at the final hill. Losing over 50 points in that final hill. Their goal should be to get the flag all the way on their half of the map, maybe towards their hut or towards the ramp, and then slay. So if they're in doubt right here, if they feel like any risk of dying, Ola needs to stop this and slay. Two of his members down, he needs to drop this and get some kills. This is not a very beneficial move at the moment for Ola and the Incognito roster. I'm surprised he hasn't just run it in yet. That's a desperate play if he goes for it. He's now revealing that in a position where his teammates are going to die if they have to touch that flag. He's going for it. Ola He's going for it. Doesn't get it. Move. His teammates are there. Can they desperate it in? Where are they? Will they run this one? Renegades is there. They know that they're all playing around the rocks. There's several members. He's going to get it. They throw in a second member. No. There's two seconds. They have to get this one in, but it's flag out. The overtime will go down. 
And they're going to defend this one, and Sentinels will say, That is not difficult. Today. Like, Develop the strategy in the middle of the game because they were not this aggressive towards the start of the game, but they definitely feel comfortable now oh winning boy. that one-on-one. -on -one. A little body disrespect. Boo Boo what? going back for the melee. Doesn't oh care if he has shield or not. And he really is here. Now only three more kills to go. Okay. Two kills to go here. Boo Boo Doo Boo lands a beautiful shot there on Rain. Sniper spree on Ryan Noob as well. Is the last player. Rain with a big double, and this is not over yet. No, if they're able to kill Boo Boo Doo Boo top green here really quickly, they're going to be able to reset slays and... and Mantra's not going to be able to construct a team push, but Ace has spawned behind them in the closet, and this is his opportunity to kind of say, 15 seconds left, he's got to get them out of the hill. Lead change here, five points separating them. Now they have to get in the hill, otherwise this will be an infinite win here. Looks like, no, that's going to be it. They're not going to have enough time, and Infinite stays alive in this series with a beautiful final play. Generally gets set up a little bit better, or knows how to filter and grab those weapons through the chaotic situations. Nice shot onto Rob, follows it up with a double as well, pretty good. Yeah, because they have so much information of the camo green side of the enemy's team map instead of just blindly rushing through. And a huge headshot from Spartan right there with the quick scope. So this is something that's a little bit changed here in Reach, but uh, it's just funny to see, like, that's one, a problem you don't see too often, and two, so, uh, a new creative solution you have to do. <laughs> oh, that's going to hurt. Time and time again, Nick. In the previous rounds, he was getting battered with the sniper, and now he just jumps up. The no-scope's a reality. On to ring three, Stella is just putting on a performance, the show of a lifetime, to keep his championship Sunday dreams alive. Killing Frenzy! The pain train is real. Just box it up, put it in a box. This is a takeaway meal, it's done. Yep, and what started off is one of the closest series we've seen so far this tournament. I mean, you look at the oh score lines God. between those flag games. Uh, unfortunately what? for Sentinels, they weren't really able to capitalize and turn that into hill time. Fortunately, though, they were able to keep Unlimited out of the hill. The hill's going to be rotating to red. They're down by 32 seconds right now, 56 seconds left on the clock. Sentinels has lost so many games this weekend, it feels like in the last minute of the game. Will this be another showing? Royal 2 with a great angle there. He goes top arch and is able to take out the hill for just a moment. Moment. However, Dead Zone is right back in, and now it is a 15 point game. 198 to 185. APG also goes down in the cave. That does not spell good news for the side of Sentinels. Look at the timer in the bottom right. Look at the scoreboard. We're about to see a score change as well. And now Unlimited takes the lead with 24 seconds left. Uh, yes. Multiple member flag run from Sentinels, and a great job to kind of rotate perfectly, hold down the situation, and the, for the first time, Sentinels isn't forced to overslay to get their flag cap, so if they can change that up, they may be having a chance to come back, oh but an boy! overkill from Dead Zone says otherwise. That was unbelievable. Has not been nearly as effective as we've seen earlier in this tournament. Weapon control, rockets in the hand of one of his teammates. Double, wait, wait, did he hit two players? Triple, he's feeling it, here we go. Overs there, down below him, into the tunnel, but the nade's real. Back in the AGL days, where he would be wearing that, that big yellow dog hat, the dog pound, he'd be taking many people to it. There's I mean, the there's really nothing that quite compares to getting your first win. I don't know what it's like, Div. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, I'm sorry for laughing. <laughs> no, you're like, not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess if it makes you feel any better, Sims, like the next 30 or so tournament wins don't feel much better, like don't feel drastically better than the first win or anything. So oh, it's right. really, you know, there's kind right. of diminishing returns in the following yeah, It's like know, the old days where you get modded against in like Halo 2 and you just like spawn and die. You're just like, oh my God, what can I do about it? The elite just flies to the top of wall. <laughs> <laughs> Auto biage you time and time again. It's like, well, yeah, we'll just let it go. We'll beat him down. Beat him down. Beat him down. Beat him down. <laughs> he does. Does he get the second? Oh my oh, God! Is, what is going on? This is up to chaos, and they're still running, and they actually put it in. That could have been oh. devastating if Boo Boo did not oh. stop that. And now Mantra on the offensive. Keep on pushing, boys. You only need two more. This is it. Two more kills between you and the trophy. Make it one. They know where they are. They're downstairs. He gets the kill. And more importantly, they get the championship. This is incredible. Give it up for your champions. DreamHack Anaheim Halo Esports 2020.